Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are several views available to you when working on a page. If you look at the lower left corner of a web page, you'll see three tabs in front page 2000 and 2002. These are normal, HTML, and preview. In front page 2003, you'll have four buttons instead. Design, Split, Code, and Preview. Normally, you insert your web page's text and graphics using the normal or design view. In this view, you can enter text and insert graphics just as you would with any other desktop publishing program, such as Microsoft Publisher. This is the default view for your web pages. However, the nuts and bolts, so to speak, of a web page can be seen by switching your page to HTML, or code view. This view allows you to see the HTML code of your page. This is what your web page is truly made up of, in its most basic sense. These codes define the content, layout, and structure of your web page. They control how a browser, such as Microsoft Internet Explorer, interprets the page. When you're surfing the internet, your web browser actually views this code and displays it as the nice neat pages that you can see. In front page 2003, you can also switch to the split view. This view will show you both the code and design views at the same time. This can be a helpful way to edit code and watch the changes display in the page view, or vice versa. The preview view allows you to view the current web page as if it were live online. Note that while this may superficially appear like a normal view, it's not editable. It does, however, give you a quick view of what your web page might look like when it's placed online. Certain elements and components require that your page is previewed online through a browser as opposed to this view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.